Today we are going to get cracking into this right away. We're going to make a uh, snaily bass or lead kind of soundy thing. Uh, it's like, sounds like this in this song. Give me. Just that first one. The second one's just like a different bass, but like very, like the same processing, but different like bass sound. So we're gonna do that first one. It's gonna sound like this. Oh shit, come on. And I'll show you how to make it like longer and kind of more specifically like that. All right, let us, we're gonna drop in a massive. <clears throat> okay. First one is on sub, where is it, sub grain, where are you at? Oh, digigrain, sorry, digigrain one, you're gonna put it to format, leave this up in the center, put the intensity over here, should get something sound like that. Next one, we're gonna go sine square, and turkey, yeah, I keep it all like this, gives it more bass, drop it down 12, Yes, yes, yes. Uh, then go into Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, go over to put the intensity over here. Put this also to format. Sorry, I am super exhausted and kind of crazy <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> uh, turn the amp up. Gonna get something weird like that. Drop it down twelve. Then you're gonna go over here to the, the, the modulation section, put this one number two, crank it up. Then we are going to go into the phase one, put that up to one. Put it, put it just up a bit, we can fuck around with that one in a little bit. Put this one up to, uh, up to all the way uh, as well. This amp we're gonna turn in order to keep it down, we're gonna turn the color up. We may or may use not to use some of that, depending on the processing kind of part. Yes, you can put sign shaper, like on the one that I made or whatever, you can put sign shaper and to grid it a little bit, but you don't really need to. I'm going to show you the basic one first. To turn this to series, uh, let's go to scream, filter, put the cutoff all the way up, scream up in here. Turn the resonance up a bit. Whoa, what the heck? Shit. <laughs> um, turn that up, put it all the way up to mix one. Go here, go to brown two. Give it some grit. Turn the next one up to dimension expansion. Turn it up to low shelf. Turn this <laughs> yeah, we can just put the. You can mess around with that one as much as you want as well. That one's just, these are kind of like variables. Bring the freak one C down. We're going to be messing with lots of the high frequencies. Boost that a little bit. So don't really worry about that too much. Um, in the oscillator, we're going to turn this up to here and put like a one here because this is where all the vibrato shit or whatever is always in. So I turn that. Shit, come on. Oh, shit. Good. Uh, now what did I have? Turn the yeah, vibrato just up a little bit. Turn this thing up like a little bit. Put this up like that. So like this kind of starts at the end of his bar where he goes like. At the end of his his note or whatever, drop it down twelve. I always just go twelve, depending on the song, up and down twelve. But <coughs> that's how it stays in in the the range or whatever. Uh, what else I do? Voicing. Okay, here's where we need this LFO. LFO. 
and we are going we don't need those things, those things put the lfo on the grain put it on the wavetable position put it on this one a little bit put it on uh, this amp a bit and crank this mofo all the way down crank this mofo all the way down So that's sounding very similar to what he has it at. Um, there are you can you can put a thing here to like modulate this. I'll put it here too, just just cause fucking whatever. Crank it all the way up. Let's sound like this. Make sure you go up to number four and crank this up, just so it's coming out like. It's just like a full smash of sounds, not just not just like it's not decaying at all. Um, yeah, so that's basically the sound, which sounds pretty badass to be honest. Like it sounds fucking sweet. And then you can fuck around with this shit. That sounds pretty key. And yeah, just mess. Okay. So what I did after that was I went into my audio effects. You can use these on any other DAW. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to go EQ8. Then I put on uh, Phaser. That's really where all the fucking weird snaily sounds come from. Phaser. Then I put on an OTT. Or oh, I put on Reverb first. Reverb first. The Reverb. Then I think he also puts on a uh, vocoder, but the one in FL or whatever, I think, but it's, it's, I, the vocoder in here is not that great, but, uh, well, for this kind of shit, it's not that great. And then it's a multi blind dynamic. So OTT, I'll explain what all these, each of these do, then go into plugins and get a camel crusher. That's a free plugin. That's super dope. And then what else do they put on there? Oh yeah, I put this before there. <laughs> and yeah, then I usually put a spectrum on the end of it. Audio effects, spectrum. Spectrum. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so I group all this shit. Turn it all off. First off, cut the lows. boost it like around there just for shits and giggles uh phaser this is where it kind of comes in cool so what i did was change it to the rate over here so one rate now what you can do is modulate both this that's where a lot of the crazy shit comes in Then turn the reverb on, turn spin off, turn chorus off, turn the this. Giving it some decay. Camel Crusher, you're just going to go into this, go warm tube. Oh, come on. Already that's sounding massive. And we're not clipping at all. Then you want to drop into OTT. Crank that up. That'll bring up the levels of the of the reverb after after it decays, so it'll like bring it all together. Now you can what you can do depending on the the song or whatever you can um, uh, if you're using it for trap, the huge bass kick will fucking substitute or like will facilitate all the bass sounds and shit or the bass part. So then this would just be a lead on top. And however it's modulated, but the um, if you don't want to do that and you want to fucking put on 
uh, put it, use it as a lead with like just a regular kick or just some bass or whatever. Uh, you put on, I would put on another EQ8 at the end. I crank up the fucking, just look at this over here. And then I would glue compress the shit out of it. So I crank it up to attack one, release eight, ratio ten. I would get about minus five gain reduction. That means, so if we look at it without it, if you turn that shit off, it's mostly lower frequencies, and then now we crunch this up. The bass is more substantial. It's just more bassy, which is fucking what you want. You can press all the bass, so like the bass gets fatter, and the other sounds, other formatted sounds, um, stay the same. So it makes it just like a way fuller sound that's a good trick to use on lots of basses and like ones where the bass is like the and that's like especially like the garagey bass or whatever it's like the main focus of the song you really want to compress the fuck out of that and then like i don't know in like another snail songs i heard that like he'll turn up the release like that one that's like so that one could just be like that but this one and then modulating all this more majama. So that's basically how you do it. Um, yeah, um, we have this song that just came out. Where the heck did I put that other stuff? Oh, PT Masters. Nope. Dropbox. Uh, PT Masters. Tom. Tunes. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah. Oh shit, that's not the way. Uh, yeah. This uh, this candy just came out. Fucking super sick. We're gonna give this one out next week. It is big roomy, and I know that shit is kind of played out, but it goes off of the club, and it's a really super sick song. Uh, and the melody is like super fly. We made it like a while ago, so we want to just give it out because it's we want to just keep all this consistent music coming out. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna put this into uh, a folder or something, and make it all nice and clean. And there'll be a link to download right motherfucking here. So go download that shit. Go follow all our stuff. We have a bunch of just, like, just been cranking out ma major tunes. I'll put, maybe if I'm in the studio, the other studio tomorrow, I'll make a video and, like, add it on to this of what our other sweet studio looks like. But, um, yeah, I hope you got some sweet stuff from that. Please like this video, share it if you found it useful, and follow us on all our jazz. I know it's kind of annoying. SoundCloud is the most main one because we just want to get that, 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 that up and popping. Uh, yeah. Peace. Jungle beats for you jungle freaks.